Good morning. It's another Monday, and here's the market report for the week of April 4th to April 10th, 2022. This week in Nanaimo, we had 76 single family homes listed with 28 sales posted. It's encouraging to see more homes listed as the weather warms up. This is normal for this time of year. However, the numbers are still nowhere near where they need to be. We closed out March with 211 active single family home listings. In the same month in 2019, there were 351 active listings. As for new apartment listings, things are still pretty tight as we saw only 11 new listings last week. There were seven sales recorded in the same time period. In townhomes, we had 13 new listings last week and recorded the sale of seven. There's still strong buyer demand and lower than normal inventory, but we are starting to see some signs of change and the number of sales to unconditional offers seems to be coming down slightly. The big news this week was the inclusion of housing in the federal budget released on April 7th. The government announced $10.1 billion in spending uh, targeted towards addressing housing in Canada. Some of the initiatives include a commitment to increasing supply by helping municipalities speed up the approval process of new developments, as well as funds allocated to co-op housing programs. Other commitments include the launching of a multi-generational home renovation tax credit that will help families with the renovation cost to house seniors in extended families. First-time home buyers will also see some benefits through the creation of a tax-free first-time home buyer savings program to help with saving for a down payment. As well, the first-time home buyer tax credit will be increased to $10,000 from the current $5,000. We're always looking for more new listings. So if you're thinking of selling, give me a call. I'm Joseph Goh, your go-to guy for real estate on Vancouver Island. See you again next week.